Playing us here is the former GMTV weather girl turned fitness inspiration. Now, she was snapped working out in the park. Well, not looking her best. Mm. It's putting it lightly. But after four months of hard work, she has lost almost three stone. Welcome to Studio 5, the lovely Claire Nazir. Thank you very much. Woo! Great to be here. Claire, you are looking unbelievable. You are. It was hard work. I sweated it out. Hard so you work or hell? It. it wasn't hell <laughs> because I knew eventually I'd look hot. Oh, but, I uh, love yeah. it. <laughs> so modest, I mean, Claire. I mean, for God's sake, look at, those, look at that photo. You know, it, it, it was a journey. Well, funny yeah. you should say yes. that. We are going to show the photograph again, Claire. I'm really sorry to do this to yeah. you. It must have look. haunted you ever since it was taken. How do you feel when you look at it now? I still feel quite emotional about it, actually, mm. to be honest, because it was it was a tough day when I saw that in the press. I mean, it almost feels like you're on a tube naked, is mm. that sort of thing. And I'd covered up my body for so long, and I was just in a private park on my own with my trainer, and it mm. was a hot day. I didn't go out like that. Mm. I had a tracksuit on, mm. but you know, it was you know last time was really hot. And I can't even remember what day it was taken on, but yes, it was pretty hideous that particular day when I saw those photos. Now, a lot of people may have thought that was actually taken on purpose because you were actually putting out a DVD. Is, yeah. is that true? No, it's not true. In fact, you know, there's no way something like that where I would ever decide to make myself public. But the I thing must admit, was, I thought that when I saw it, I was like, yeah. there's no way that you would want no. that to be oh out there my without goodness. being rude. Actually, a lot of my friends, they normally would say, it's not that bad. bad yeah. But mm. no one did. Even your friends Yeah, like. I realised it was. But in fact, hilariously enough, when it ended up in the press, mm -hmm. I had so many really strange offers. Mm. Really? Some I can't really repeat now, you know. <laughs> Tell us after night. the show. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now, we actually have a before and after picture. Um, we're going to have a look at that. So, um, tell us, it's coming. Oh, there we go. There we look at that. Okay. So, tell us exactly. Wow. Now, seriously, mm. how did you transform? Okay, well, the key thing I did was boxing. Yeah. When I found out that boxers per day on their daily sort of workout routine burnt up to 8,000 calories, it just really thought sold it for me. Yeah. 8, so 000. I don't want to burn 8,000 <gasps> a day, but um, on my DVD, you can burn up to 1,000. Right. So you don't have to spend as much time as other workouts because what I was doing was something called high intensity interval training. So it's short, sharp, shock. T treatment basically. I know you look scared. Kind of scary, it, well, it, 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 initially I was scared, but in fact, when you get used to it, you know, I've only got 20 minutes in my day. I haven't got an hour and a half. I don't want to learn a few dance moves. I want to shift that fat, and that's what I did every day. Did, so, just quickly, did it annoy you that people commented on you when that picture was taken? I mean, were you happy with yourself? And did it annoy that people mm. actually commented on you the way you looked? Well, this time last year, I was classed as obese. Really? Um, and I had started losing weight when I got to that what stage. What dress size were you? I was a 16, okay. and now I'm a 6. Oh, um, so I had lost some weight um, up to that point in the summer where I was snapped in that sort of hideous green outfit. Yeah. And so I was really upset because I'd worked so hard to get to that point. But right. I, push, I pushed myself up a gear, basically, mm. yeah. which is great. And, and you know, everybody, if, if you're in the public eye, you have to accept there will be comments will about comment. you. Because uh, you put yourself have... out there. Exactly. Yeah. But then it really made me think, I am going to to look great and mm. it might take a while mm -hmm. but I'm gonna do it but it's worked and you mentioned that yeah. you dropped from a size 16 mm. to a size 6 yeah. but you also lost nearly three stone mm -hmm. and 12 inches from your waist I mean it, it was just amazing because it, the, the exercise I was doing was um, as I said this this intensive type of workout where I was really just going for it for 20 minutes at a time and also a good diet I mean I was eating more than I've ever eaten because mm. I was eating every two to three hours and eating healthy proteins and vegetables and it all adds up you're cutting and, out carbs and all that no no I was eating healthy alcohol carbs. Yeah, I gave up oh. the booze. I'm sorry, Brian. Can't bear it, Claire. <laughs> I need me vodka and soda at the end of the week. Was that well, tough? It, do you know, it wasn't really because I was really on a mission. And I think if you're going to lose the weight, particularly if you were like me, severely overweight, you really have to put in the hours and it's discipline. And it's 24-7 for the first few months. And then you can maintain. I'm maintaining now. I have the odd glass of champagne and yeah. it's rather nice. Now, you've actually yeah. got this fitness DVD there. Yes. We see it right beside Kate. How do you physically feel, feel now more than what you did before. You must feel like super I fit, feel, loads of energy. I feel healthy. so proud of myself for doing it because it was re it was hard, it was tough. And if you don't sweat it out, then you're not doing it in the right way. Mm. I feel really proud. And also, you know, I've come a long way. I wish someone had told me about this 10 years ago. 
Mm -hmm. I would I hate the fact that I got to that stage of my mm -hmm. life at the age of 40 and now I'm looking like that and uh, I'm really chuffed a bit. It's a real achievement and it's the DVD as well, is actually, out I think. in the shops now. It's yeah. really inspirational. Thank you. Do you think that anybody can do this? Is it the kind of thing yeah. that January comes, you make the New Year's resolution, yeah. you're going to lose weight and then come February it's on a shelf somewhere gathering dust or is this genuinely something that people can embrace? Everyone can embrace it. I mean I had, as you can see on this photo, cellulite, cellulite up to my neck and it's all gone. The cellulite's yes, gone as well? Yes, the cellulite's gone and that is in four months. Oh, yes, yeah. darling, oh, I'm hard. firm. I'm Sorry, hard. I'm touching yes, Brian. <laughs> Look, so I felt Davina McCall as well. She's hard, you're yeah, hard as well. exactly. So anyone can do it. And there's an easy option on the DVD as well, which is great. But And also the trainer is hot. There's well, two trainers. There's a beautiful woman called Dee and a gorgeous man called Aaliyah. And I was with the best, I really was. Claire, I'm Thank looking you, forward Claire. to giving it a go. Thank you so Thank much you for coming so in. Much. Claire, Thank you so much. Claire, see you, everyone. Must get that uh, trainer's number as well. <laughs> right.